Hello friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Today I just want to play some music for you. I'll be using AmpleSound's newest extension of the AGT plugin, which features stroke noise and finger picking. In case you don't know, AGT is AmpleSound's sample of a Taylor 914, and it sounds sweet. I'm not going to review this library, at least not in this video. I'm just going to play and mess around with it. But before I do that, I'd like to pour my heart out. As some people will inevitably point out, yes, there are some things that are impossible to play on a real guitar that can be played on here and vice versa. I'm going to see critiques about the subtle idiosyncrasies of a real guitar that are missing in plugins and how they are lifeless, etc. The truth is, we're not going to hear a plugin emulate a real guitar 100% in every single way anytime soon. But that's okay. A while back, a friend of mine who is a seasoned guitarist and has been playing longer than I've been alive came to record acoustic guitar at my studio. I showed him the mock-up tracks I made with AGT, fearing that he would show the same criticism of sample guitars many purists like to show. I was surprised when he told me, that sounds really good already. Why don't you just keep that in there? And you know what? That got me thinking. Why do we listen to music? Why do we play music? Do I ultimately use these types of plugins because they sound more real than another? Because they fool the ear? Is it so people can think they are real? What is the ultimate purpose? My answer is that it makes people feel better. We play because music moves us. If you can produce that effect using a guitar plugin, you've succeeded. What makes a difference to me is how a good plugin is at facilitating that goal. Does your sample library make it easier or more difficult to achieve that? But enough philosophy. I hope you enjoy this video.